Uh, hello, this is Dr. Ezi, and this is the uh, third lecture in uh, the station of pain, and it's a critical care station in the MRCS Part B. Okay, so we are going to uh, uh, discuss the next questions that will show up by the examiner, and uh, the next question here will be. Uh, uh, about the WHO uh, later okay maybe they're going to ask you explain the WHO later and you want to explain it in simple words okay so it's like a, a letter like this okay and the first step here uh, will be a uh, simple analgesia yeah? okay and simple analgesia includes uh, in the beginning paracetamol okay so this is the first step the second step in the WHO letter is uh, uh, simple here also includes uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs okay here you are going to go to the to the mid medium or middle step and this will uh, include uh, weak opiates okay this weak opiates okay like codeine and and uh, tramadol and these uh, and these drugs okay uh, the third step is the strong opiates by the way and uh, a good example for that is uh, morphine okay so this is the letter here and it's a simple question actually for example morphine so this question has finished now he's going to focus with you the next questions will all be about paracetamol okay so the first question now the the topic here is he's going to take the paracetamol from the previous question and he's going to ask you the first question what is the mechanism of action okay and uh, first of all you want to know that the mechanism of action of paracetamol is not clear nobody knows exactly how does it work but there are some theories and you want to tell them about the uh, this these theories so uh, it is thought that it modulates the uh, uh, prostaglandin uh, production in the CNS. It modulates the uh, prostaglandin uh, prostaglandin and this production in the CNS. This is this is what is thought about this. Okay, and and by this way it inhibits the uh, uh, COX pathway you know that there is a COX pathway are two pathways uh, COX1 and COX2 or COX1 and COX, COX2 and uh, it is found to be more selective to COX2 so uh, the mechanism in the beginning of, of action is not clear but he thought that it modulates the prost prostaglandins uh, production uh, in the CNS uh, by, and by the way it inhibits the uh, COX-2 uh, pathway uh, this is uh, thought to be the mechanism of action of of paracetamol and is the answer that you need to say to the examiner okay well the next question will also be about paracetamol and he's going to ask you uh, how uh, its overdoses or overdose can cause liver failure so overdose of paracetamol causes uh, liver failure okay so how does that occur so you want to understand this i mentioned that with this before but you want to to understand the the general mechanism here okay so we have taken paracetamol okay and uh, paracetamol is uh, actually conjugated this is the first pathway, the conjugation. Conjugated by uh, sulfate 
and uh, uh, glucuronide, okay? Glucuronide, okay? It is conjugated by sulfate and, glucu and, 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 and glucuronide, okay? So in this way, it, it, it is not toxic. So the majority, the majority of paracetamol goes this path pathway, majority, fine? There is another pathway, and this other path pathway uh, goes through the uh, the cytochrome uh, P450 uh, enzyme system, a small portion of it. Okay, and uh, actually the the metabolites that uh, are produced due to going to the cytochrome uh, P450 enzyme system. Uh, the main product here is uh, something called, I mentioned it before, uh, it is n acyl p benzo uh, quino uh, Okay, this is the name of the, it is uh, abbreviated by NAPKI, N for this, A for acyl, P for this P, and uh, QI for this one, okay, free amino or amine here. So you can say NAPQI and remember it by NAPKI. So this product is toxic, it is very toxic, okay. So uh, the uh, NAPQ, uh, N NAPQ or NAPQI is conjugated by uh, glutathione, okay, by glutathione, glutathione. And glutathione is produced by the liver from amino acids, three amino acids. And uh, uh, if the amount here is so big, so this will uh, deplete or will end or finish, or uh, uh, they, they will, will take all the glutathione in the liver, and in this way it will be available in the circulation. And this will uh, cause the toxicity and the, and the liver failure, okay? So this is the mechanism by which the liver failure occurs, okay? Big amount, uh, glutathione depleted, and uh, the result is liver failure, okay? So uh, finally, He's going to ask you another question about paracetamol, the third question about paracetamol. And you want to know that paracetamol is also called, uh, if, uh, in case that you do not know, actually, I know that you know, but it is acetaminophen. Acetaminophen, this is its scientific name. So. Paracetamol or acetophenomen are the same, okay? He's going to ask you what are the therapeutic effects? The therapeutic effects of paracetamol, okay? And actually it has many, many effects that you already know. Number one, it's an analgesic, okay? Number two, it's an antipyretic. Uh, for fever, I mean. And uh, number three, it's a minimal anti-inflammatory. Minimal anti-inflammatory, okay? So these are the uh, three uh, effects or, or jobs, therapeutic jobs or effects of paracetamol, okay? So this uh, what will show about uh, paracetamol and the WHO later in the examination in this station, and these are the uh, answers that are needed by the examiner. So I will see you in the next session.